With the implementation of the Euro 5 emissions regulations in 2009, vehicle manufacturers were obliged to significantly reduce solid particle atmospheric emissions in all new vehicles. These kinds of emissions are particularly high in diesel engines because of the way these work. This brought about the creation and implementation of diesel particulate filters, or DPFs, in these vehicles. Their basic design starts with a double lambda probe catalytic system with its electronic control unit, in which the catalytic converter is replaced by a module that has a broadband lambda probe, an oxidizing pre-catalytic converter, a diesel particulate filter, a differential pressure sensor with its connection pipes in front of and behind the filter, and a temperature probe. Their basic operation is simple. The solid particles traveling with the exhaust gases are held back in the filter, while the previously catalyzed gases escape through its porous walls into the atmosphere through the rear silencer. When the amount of particles held back in the filter reaches a certain level, the differential pressure sensor sends a signal to the electronic control unit to start the filter regeneration process. The regeneration occurs periodically at intervals of 400 to 800 kilometers, depending on the type of driving. It involves increasing the temperature of the exhaust gases to the temperature at which the carbon particles self-ignite, which is around 550 degrees centigrade. This is done by special engine management programs that include variation of the starting and post-injection times. The increased temperature burns the carbon particles in the filter and converts them into carbon dioxide, sending them out of the filter in gas form to leave it clean and ready to continue storing particles. The regeneration process always leaves a little residue in the filter, which gradually blocks the pores in the walls. This means that it has to be replaced roughly every 80,000 to 140,000 kilometers. 